This is Kai Cutter TV with another presentation. We got to talk about this. Okay, guys, the Biden administration calls in FEMA to help with kids at border. Hold on one second. FEMA, I thought that was for a emergency or disaster, but they keep denying that at the border, this is a crisis. So why would you call in FEMA if it's not an emergency? That's a little bit of an oxymoron and that doesn't make any sense but we'll go on and check this out. Along the Southwest border, there are thousands of migrant children alone and waiting. They are part of a record breaking surge of kids trying to get into the US, showing up unaccompanied by parents or family members. The Biden administration has deployed the disaster agency FEMA to help out. The disaster agency FEMA to help out something that's not a emergency or a disaster or a crisis according to the Biden administration. Homeland Security can only place a fraction of those children with sponsors. There is no doubt today that what we are seeing today is an enormous challenge and is unacceptable. The Federal Emergency Management Agency will support a government-wide effort over the next three months to shelter and transfer these minor children who are arriving by the hundreds every day. So it's not only that that's happening. It's not only kids, obviously, that's crossing the border. You have thousands of migrants crossing the border illegally. And since Biden has come in, this has gotten so much worse. The Trump administration, what he did, what Trump did in four years, the Biden administration is undoing in one month within 90 days. The first 100 days, this man's talking about no deportations. Good thing a Texas judge put an end to that. But all of his policies on immigration has been bad. He said that he's here to bring the country together. I don't think so. It's more division than ever. Well, we got that and a lot more illegal immigration news to get into. Check this out. FEMA is heading to the southern border to help manage the logistical crisis of so many unaccompanied minors coming across the United States-Mexico border. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas asked FEMA to help receive shelter and transfer unaccompanied minors for the next 90 days. In the past year, nearly 30,000 unaccompanied minors crossed the border. Almost 3,000 were under 12. Those numbers, according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Well, FEMA will now help shelter unaccompanied migrant children who arrive at the U.S. border. That announcement comes after a surge in children in CBP's custody, more than 3,200 this past week. The agency only had 500 available beds but needed to find room for about 2,000 more children. It's also been reported that some migrant children are staying in CBP custody for longer than the three-day limit, which has contributed to that overcrowding issue. Patrol is finally getting some help to manage the surge of immigrants flowing into the country illegally along the southern border. FEMA is sending personnel to the border between Texas and Mexico to help Border Patrol agents apprehend the process and flow of immigrants into the country. Last month alone, 100,000 immigrants were apprehended. That number is expected to surge to 125,000 this month. Many of the immigrants are unaccompanied minors. Critics say President Biden's decision to eliminate strict Trump administration policies is causing the surge. The crisis at the southern border continues to intensify as new video shows Border Patrol agents having to warn the media to stop helping migrants illegally cross the border. The Mexican authorities have been advised, so I would advise you to not assist them in any way. Well, my agents say that you are assisting them. So I'll just tell you that you should not be engaged in that because that's a felony in the United States, okay? We can charge it as a misdemeanor or a felony. This as video footage from the U.S.-Mexico border shows illegal migrants climbing over portions of the border fence that was not replaced by Trump era border barrier systems. Those migrants are immediately met by Border Patrol officials and detained. A large portion of the illegal migrants who are detained will be released into the United States as President Biden revived the catch and release policy. In other spots along the old border fence that separates the two countries, families of illegal migrants can be seen crawling underneath the fence. Many migrants saying that they are flocking to the border because of Biden's promise to allow them entry. According to CBP, more than 100,000 migrants arrived at the southern border in the month of February alone, which is 25,000 more migrants than arrived in February of 2019 during the migrant crisis a couple of years back. 
Immigration officials are asking for help as they deal with a surge of migrants on the Mexican border. According to a Homeland Security official, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement asked for volunteers to help its current border operations. The volunteers would come from within the agency and could be deployed as soon as this weekend. Their role would be to help with security for migrant families and unaccompanied children. Border officials are scrambling to keep up with the flood of migrants, including minors coming alone. The number of those children keeps growing, including nearly 800 apprehended on Wednesday alone. Huckabee joins us now. He's the former governor of Arkansas and a Fox News contributor. So, Governor, I want to toss out a couple of items to get us started. During your two years, two terms plus two years as governor of Arkansas, you had direct contact with fellow Republican governors of Texas, George W. Bush, Rick Perry. How closely did you work with them on issues surrounding the border, the southern border, and what knowledge did you gain that could help solve today's crisis? And then also, as we are reporting, they're, the Biden administration, they're sending FEMA down there to find and expand suitable facilities. Is this a step in the right direction? Well, sure it is. Uh, it's all hands on deck. The fact that uh, DHS is actually saying, we're begging you for volunteers. We need help down here. That, that's indication that, that it is a crisis. And, and it's not so much that they just won't call it one. It's that uh, calling it a crisis is only half the issue. Then it's doing something about it. You ask about uh, the, the border issue and even back when I was governor, the fact is there's been a, a problem at the border for a long time because we haven't dealt with it effectively. It's a federal problem, but the states really take it in the teeth in dealing with it. So it's not just the border states. They're the front line. And certainly Texas, Arizona, California uh, are the ones who see it first, foremost, and, and take the brunt of it. But when the migrants get into the country, they don't just stay at the border. Mm -hmm. They come all over the place. And that means that states, whether it's Arkansas, Missouri, or for that matter, Maine or Vermont, may end up having to educate uh, the migrant children, they have to provide health care. They've got to help find a place to uh, work. And then there's a big factor. It drives wages down for American workers when employers can hire people off the books, pay them a cash wage that, frankly, is way below market value, and not pay Social Security and federal tax out of it. When that happens, everybody in America, every worker suffers. So this is a real much bigger problem, I think, Arthel. Uh, than people recognize. So do you think Congress has the will to work together across political borders to resolve the problems at the southern border? No. No, they don't have the will to do that. I wish they did, but they don't. We've seen it. There were several times during the Trump administration when he laid on the table, for example, DACA. A lot of Republicans didn't even want to do it. I did. I thought it was a good approach. The president gave the Democrats more than they even asked for, and they walked away. They didn't want to do it because they didn't want President Trump to get credit. The wall that they hated so much until they built one in Washington, D.C., or around Nancy Pelosi's house, which they said was immoral until it was theirs, um, it was working. It was keeping control. It's not just to keep people out. It's to make sure that the people that we do let in are the people that we want to let in. So, right now, the, the inability to control that border, Arthel, uh, has five components. Kids, cages, cartels, coyotes, mm. and covid yeah. We're telling yeah. people that by July 4th, we might get to have eight or so people for a hot dog in our backyard. You got thousands of people jammed up in facilities, overwhelmed and not being tested and not wearing masks. I don't buy it that the Biden administration thinks that the COVID issue is the number one if they're not taking care of it at the border. Well, I mean, listen, you're, you're right. You raised so many issues, including, you know, a lot of people crowding there in Florida for spring break with no mask. So there's that issue. And then you sure. talk about the walls. You know, yeah, there is the tr so-called Trump wall. There is the, the, the retractable fence around the Capitol due to the in insurrection. So those are two separate issues. But I get your point, sir. Um, Governor Huckabee, I have to go, unfortunately, but I'm, I'm asking you, maybe is there any way you, as a, I, I believe, a, an, impl an influential uh, Republican to try to get together, get somehow some word out to everybody to try to work this out for the sake of the country. So it would I, be great for all of us if that could happen. I, I hope so. Thank you, Governor Huckabee. Nice to talk to you.